turn the following expression into a simple polynomial. Let's start with this innermost set of parentheses. We can't combine any of the terms in the in this set of parentheses because they're not like terms. Constants and variables can't be combined. So we need to distribute this negative x into the parentheses. So let's rewrite our expression until we get to that negative x and then distribute. Negative x times 1 would be negative x. Negative x times negative x would be positive x squared. Now we can distribute the next negative x into this set of parentheses. Negative x times 1 would be a negative x. Negative x times negative x would be positive x squared. And negative x times positive x squared would be a negative x cubed. There are no more like terms to combine, so now we must rearrange all of our terms from descending order of powers, starting with a negative x to the third, because that is the highest power that we have, negative x to the third. If we take a look at our answer choices, this eliminates the first and last option. Then we can continue. Our next highest power is 2, so we have this positive x to the 2. And that tells us everything we need to know to find our answer, which is answer choice C because it has a negative x to the third and a positive x squared instead of a minus x squared. But for the sake of the video, I will continue rearranging this expression. Our next highest power is x to this invisible one. So we would have negative, don't forget the sign, x to the one. And then we would have our constants, which is just a positive one, so plus one. Again, matching answer choice C.